to come on here and do a video on my medications that I'm taking after surgery and everything I kind of do in my routine. So, um, it was time for me to take one of my liquid medications anyways, so I thought, hey, I might as well do it now since I had the medication I had to, I have to take, I, um, I have to get out of the fridge. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'll show you my medications and what I do and when I take them. And, um... And then I'll take my medication at the end. So anyway, the first thing I have here is my Lovenox shots. Is that really upside down? Anyway, they are pre-filled little syringes. And I don't have to take one of these now. I take these twice a day. And I take them in the morning and at night. So along with that, I have alcohol. I was supposed to get wipes at the pharmacy, but they forgot. So we just have been using this, which is fine. So I just take um, a tissue or um, a cotton ball or whatever, and I put some. And I, I mean, obviously, if you've had surgery, I'm sure you probably had... And I'm sure somebody's probably had shots. Anyway, so then um, all I do is I take the cap off and treat my skin, inject it, and then it pulls the um, needle back into the casing. So I do that twice a day for 10 days. And it sucks, but it's not a huge big deal. It's not as big of a deal as I thought. Um, this is a medication that they sent me home with. And I'm not going to show you because it has my information on it. Um, well, I can probably... Not like... Anyway, it's not going to... Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's probably too light and that's not going to focus anyway. So, okay. Anyway, it is... Um... Zofran for nausea, which I haven't really had to take um, since I've been home. I haven't had to take any of these. I did have some in my IV at the hospital, like the day out of the first post-op day. Um, this is what it is, and basically you put it on your tongue and it melts away. So I just have that in here just in case, but I haven't need to take them. The other thing that I haven't done yet is I have um, ferrous sulfate which is um, iron so when I start taking these which I'll probably start taking in the next day or two because I really need to get doing it I have a pill crusher so I'm not going to do it but anyway I just put it in there and I just turn, turn, turn until it doesn't turn anymore and it crushes it into a powder and I'll put it in something. So this is kind of neat because it's a, it has the pill crusher and then it has um, a little storage thing, but I probably will never use that, but it's kind of cool. And then it has a pill cutter and then it has a drinking cup. So. It's nice to have for out and about, you know. Like I said, I've never used it out and about. Don't know if I ever will, but anyway, it serves the purpose. So that's that, and I don't take those yet, but I keep them in here. Now, these are the ones that I take consistently. I take um, a Meprazole, which is Prilosec, twice a day for 90 days. It comes in a capsule like this. And what I was doing um, at the hospital and then when I first came home was I'd take, the hospital sent me with a bunch of these, I'd open it up, put it in there, and then put the little beads, they come with little beads, put the little beads in my mouth and then take a drink. Um, that's okay, and it's worked, 
Um, the first time I took it, the nurse said a lot of people open it and put it in their water in here, like fill this with water and then take it, but it, all the beads get stuck at the bottom. So I didn't do that. What I've been doing is putting it in some sort of food. So I will open it and put it in my soup or open it and put it in um, my breakfast in the morning, my yogurt. That's what I did this morning. And then the nighttime one, sometimes I'll just take because usually at night I'm not having any food. So, or pretty much, I mean, so sometimes I'll be like, I'll ask one of my kids, hey, will you bring me a spoon of yogurt or a spoon of pudding? And then I'll just sprinkle it on the spoon and, and let it go down. But usually at nighttime I just put it in and drink with the water. So, the next medication, um, which is the medication that well, I'll save that for last because that's the one I take the most. This, I also have, I take Cytalopram. Um, it's, they gave it to me in a liquid, and I take 10, um, 10 milliliters by mouth um, at night before bed. So that doesn't need to be refrigerated or anything. It's just, I keep it in my little medicine Thing I have set up um, so I just fill it up and drink it that's for my anxiety so the next thing that I have that I really am only taking in the mornings when I get up now is my pain medication which is um, liquid hydrocodone I was taking it every four hours um, I don't really feel I need it every four hours now because I was really only using it for my sciatica and I wasn't really using it for I mean it did help the little inside tummy pains but um, I don't think I'm not really in that much pain so um, I pretty much just take it I take um, 15 milliliters in the morning when I get up and then it gets me through my day or it gets me, not through my day, but it gets me to get up and kind of, you know, helps me to be a little bit not in pain when I'm getting up, which is usually the hardest time I have. So then that brings me to my gabapentin. This is for my nerves. So this is pretty important for me to take. Um, I have to take six milliliters in the morning and at night and then three um, in the afternoon. So that's what I'm going to, I'm just going to take it now since I have it out. Um, and they don't taste the greatest. Um, really? So. Um. It will be nice when I can go back to um, regular medicine. But so yeah, this is the gabapentin and this is for my nerve pain. So I'm just going to shot this down right now. And then I usually chase it with something. So, um, I do have my vitamins, but I actually have to go to the store and get vitamins because I ran out. And they gave me all new scripts. So, these saved my life after surgery. And these saved my life after surgery. Because I eat out of these. I drink out of these. I do pretty much everything out of these. They're two ounces. So... Um, that's about it with the medication. So if you have any comments or questions, let me know. I just wanted to kind of give you guys an overview of what I take and do after surgery. All right. See you later. Bye.